Hello and welcome to our very special Christingle Assembly today. I'm Reverend Rachel. Some of you might remember me from when I used to come into school to do assemblies. And I thought I'd show you around this beautiful church today. You'll see the fantastic stained glass window behind me. And today in our assembly, we're going to make Christingles. And we're going to find out all about Christingles and what they are. And you might be sitting there thinking, I don't know what a Christingle is. Well, this is a Christingle. It's a rather peculiar object when you look at it, but it's got a lot of really important symbols in it. And one of those symbols is the candle right in the center. So I thought I would show you some of the special candles that we have in this church. These are candles that people light when they come to say a prayer. Sometimes when we want to say a prayer, we just can't find the words. But lighting a candle is a way of saying a prayer without having to use words at all because we know that God is listening and he knows what we mean, even if we can't find the right words to say. This is our Advent wreath. There are five candles on our Advent wreath. And today we have two of them lit because we're in the second week of Advent. So our Advent wreath helps us to count down to Christmas and get ready for Christmas. And the white candle right in the center will be lit on Christmas morning, because that reminds us that Jesus is with us. And he's with us in a really special way at Christmas time. I'm going to let you into a little secret. We don't really know when Jesus was born. We think it was about 2,000 years ago, but we don't really know for certain. The Bible tells us that he was born in Bethlehem, which was a town in Judea, which is in the eastern Mediterranean, part of the Middle East. But we have no idea whether he was born in the winter or the spring or the summer or the autumn. We certainly don't know what month of the year it was, and we don't know the date at all. So the very first Christians got together and thought that they would quite like to celebrate Jesus's birthday. But because they didn't know when it was, they could pick a day at almost at random. And you'd sort of think if you were going to choose when to have a birthday, you wouldn't have it in the winter. You'd have it in the summer, you could go out and have barbecues and play games outside and have lots of fun in the sunshine. But no, the very first Christians thought that the winter time would be the right time to celebrate Jesus' birthday because it's the very darkest time of the year, particularly in this part of the world. The nights get very long and the days get very short and it gets very cold and frosty. And sometimes at Christmas time, we even get snow. So this seems like a really good time to have Christmas because it reminds us that Jesus is the light of the world. And when things get really dark, really miserable, really unhappy or sad, we are reminded that Jesus brings us hope and love because Jesus loves us no matter what we do or who we are. And sometimes when things are going really badly, it's important to be reminded of that because it can help us get through some really difficult times. And this year has been quite a difficult year. I know that school isn't like it was. I know that going shopping isn't like it used to be. Being around our families is different. We haven't been able to travel. Things have been really strange this year because of the pandemic. So this is a really special Christmas this year. It'll be a bit low key. We won't be able to see the people that perhaps we might have seen in other years. But it's a really good time to remind ourselves that when things get really tough, Jesus is with us in the world, in our lives, giving us hope and bringing us a little bit of joy, a sign of better things to come, even when it's really dark and really bleak in the middle of the winter. So we're going to make a Christingle now, and I'll tell us all about the symbols of Christingle and how it reminds us of that hope of Jesus. So to make your Christingle, you will need the following things. Some red tape, a little square of foil, some dried fruit or some soft sweets, four cocktail sticks, and an orange. Now the first thing that we do is to get our tape and we're going to wrap some red tape around our orange. 
around the middle of the orange. And that goes all the way around. And then we'll just take a pair of scissors and snip it. And that piece of tape goes all the way around the orange because it reminds us that God's love goes all the way around the world. The orange is round just like the world is round and God's love surrounds the world. So we're gonna take our raisins, in my case, but you've got some sweets, I think, which is even better. And we're going to put a couple of raisins on each cocktail stick and stick them into the orange. Now there are four cocktail sticks. I wonder if you can think of why that might be. Why are there four cocktail sticks? What are those cocktail sticks reminding us of? Well, there are four seasons in the year and the sweets or the fruit on your cocktail sticks reminds us that all the lovely things like fruit and food and sunshine and snow and all the wonderful things that the seasons bring us are all from God. God creates fruit and sunshine and rain and those four cocktail sticks reminds us of the four seasons and God's love and generosity to us. And the trickiest bit is going to be this bit in the centre. You might need an adult to help you with this bit because you're going to have to cut just a little tiny cross shape in the top of your orange. And then with your candle and your bit of foil, you scrunch that around the base of your candle like that and then you just push the candle, whoops, Push that into your orange through that little hole that you've cut with a knife. And there you have it. There is your Christingle. But why the candle? Why do we light the candle and have that candle at the centre of our Christingle? Well, Jesus told us that he was the light of the world. And just as we light candles and we put out Christmas lights on our Christmas trees and we decorate our houses with lights at this time of the year. Jesus comes into the world at Christmas time in the darkest time of the year to remind us that he is the light of the world and that light is going to shine in the darkness and remind us that this Christmas, just like every other Christmas, God comes into the world, Jesus is with us and he brings us hope and love and light. I'm going to light my candle, there you go. My Christingle candle. And that flame will flicker. And it will remind me that Jesus is the light of the world. So I hope you all have a wonderfully blessed Christmas. That it's full of joy and hope and wonderful presents and delicious food and fun with your friends and families. And I pray that it's safe and that we can all come back again in January and enjoy each other's company again. So, Merry Christmas.